Spirit. He said, but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness. Gentleness! That's one thing they lack in Lagos. Gentleness! Self-control! But if you obey your sinful nature, the results are clear. Sexual immorality, impurity, lustful pleasures, idolatry, sorcery, hostility, quarreling, jealousy, outbursts of anger, selfish ambition, dissension, division, envy, drunkenness, wild. Parties. That's Lagos. Oh, and bear. Every every weekend. Other things like this. Hey. You have not broken it. Oh. I think some some of some of some people love. You know they love sin. They love it. They love the gravitation it brings. Hey. But there are some of us. We hate what God hates, because we no longer want to serve. That master that rules everything I just read. We want to serve the Holy Ghost that rules the good things. We're going to press in five more minutes. You have to press in. You have to live here without this addiction. I'm telling you. Something is holding you bound from serving God. Because you are still submitted to the old nature. Until that old nature dies, you will be in conflict with the Holy Ghost. Don't you know that the flesh will never allow you to serve God? The flesh can never lead you to serve God. So until you bury, put it to ashes. I've been burned to ashes. All I am is His breath. I no longer live, but Christ lives through me. I am ashes with light within. 
flesh you cannot pray but if we that we hate this flesh we are going to pray father Father, burn me to ashes ashes. begin to pray from the depth of your heart I can't hear the prayers in the room. 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 I can't hear the prayers in Jesus name you can sit for a little bit and open your Bibles to Romans 8 if you have your Bibles still bring your Bibles and a notepad I don't want you to miss out on anything going on. So you have to say something. Romans 8. Sheba. 19 says, For all creation is waiting eagerly for that future when God will reveal his children. The world is waiting 
They're not waiting for church goers. Yet. They're not waiting for pastors. Yet. They're not waiting for prophets. Yet. They're waiting for sons. We have so many people who think they're sons. But how come creation, creation is not obeying you when you, when you beckon on it? You know how I know? Joshua! A man like you and I. Ah! When he became a son, he commanded the son He says, the creation, they are waiting for sons of God. Against his will, all creation was subjected to God's curse. But with eager hope, the creation looks forward to that day when he will join God's children in glorious freedom from death and decay. Moses used creation to destroy you use water, water. All these things, they, they are living. Oh, the sun can hear, the moon can hear, the waters can hear. But are you a son to command them? They can hear. In the days of Deborah, ha, Cicera. I think it was the moon or the stars. They used to fight him. These things, they, they hear. They have voices. They are Everything God created, they are living all creation. They are living. The land can hear. When you appear into a place, you can command the land. Land, open. And you'll be like, oh, I recognize you. You are his son. But we don't have authority. Because we are not caught into sonship. We are playing. We are playing. We play too much. Activities. We are in activities all day, every day. Activities. Um, we're going to church choir. We're doing this. But you're not pressing in to know God. You must know God though. Creation, creation, the moon, the stars. Even in the end time, in Revelation, who, what is going to come down from heaven? This is not the sun. That would, that, uh, let's actually see in Revelation 20, I think 21 or 22. sun, the moon will fall down. And the mountains, they begin to move out of the way. They are, they have, they are living, you know. Every mountain you see, every hill, they are living. They can hear. He said everything will move out. Then the children that are left, when after we have gone, the people that are left, they will be, they will be looking for rocks to hide under. They will not, they, because the rock of God has come upon the earth. Everything, everything, every creation begin to hear. And they begin to move. And they begin to listen to God. Everything hears. But are you a son? In in um, 2 Corinthians 3 18 it says, so all of us who have had that veil removed can see and reflect the glory of the Lord and the Lord who is the spirit make us know and more like him as we are changed into his glorious image. That's where we are going. To be changed to his glorious image. 
whereby when creation sees you, they see God. Someone said, I think it was Apostle Aaron, I said, I think it's because of Joshua. We have leap year and on leap year. Because he held the sun for how many days? I was like, huh? Sun! Stand there! Moon! Ah! A man like you and I. They said Enoch was walked with God. And he was no more. That one has already seen rapture. That one, that one has been raptured. And you are still waiting for rapture. Ha! Are you walking with God? Until the worldliness becomes distasteful to your lips. I was saying to one of my brothers, I said, I'm now looking like Abraham, searching for a city whose maker and builder is God. Hey! I've gotten to a place whereby this world is like, ah, when are we going? What is the work? Look, let's quickly. Whoa, whoa. I'm like, let's come together quickly do this work. Where, which work? Where are we going to walk? Let's, let's so that we can go to that civilization that God himself created. Because this civilization cannot be of God. That's why Abraham in his day was looking for that city. Because he looked. He said, ah, this cannot be God. Everywhere I look, there's sin. But he was so connected to heaven, he was looking for that new Jerusalem that the Bible says in Re Revelation 21, I believe, will come down from heaven. Zion! He was looking for Zion. He couldn't find it on earth. Because when man sinned, Eden was taken back to heaven. Eden. He was a scroll. And I was asking God the other day, so why did he didn't go back? He said, because the tree of life is in Eden. And if man eats the tree of life, he can't die. Because when Adam and Eve fell, they ate the good and bad. They didn't eat the tree of life. What did, you, what did God say? God said, the angels should quickly guide the garden so that they will not go back and eat the tree. It's there. Let's open it. Genesis. I think Genesis 1 or 3. I think Genesis 3. 1 or 3. Things in 3. says, then the Lord said, 22, look, the human beings have become like us, knowing both bad and evil. What if they reach out, take fruit from the tree of life? Did you see that? Did you see that? Can we all read it? Verse 22, then the Lord, everybody, then the Lord God said, behold, the man the human is human become human as one of us, uh -huh. to know good, good and evil. And, evil. and now, lest he put forth his hand, uh -huh. and take also of the tree of life, and eat and live forever. So that's why you can't find Eden anywhere. Do you go? That new Jerusalem comes back. Because the tree of life is there. You read it? That's scripture. That is why. How? To behold him, it takes a lot of. You have to hate sin. You have to totally hate, abhor sin. Like totally detest it. If you don't detest it, it's not normal. Though. People say it's not easy to be to live only is not possible. It's possible. The Holy Spirit within you is your helper to help you. 
the way God has been dealing with me eh, is like I'm becoming a loner by the day. So I understood I oh, want Jeremiah, Ezekiel, that God said, I will kill your wife and you shouldn't cry. And God killed his wife the next day and he didn't cry. They have become like totally out of this realm. They become the true sons. The creation is waiting for sons. When they see sons, they will obey. The same sea that led Israelites out is the same water that destroyed. That means the water can heal and destroy. Ah! The same sun that gives light is the same sun Joshua used to fight the enemy. The same stars Deborah used to fight the Sarah. Ha! Ah, these people have caught something. They've caught a realm. Are you listening? Is your mind here? Ha! Ah, they've caught a realm. Oh. If you don't become, you can't behold. If you don't become a son, the creation cannot, they can't see anything different. You look just like the world. So if you look at yourself, you look, at, look at yourself and ask, am I a son? And look at your itinerary from morning to night. Where did God fit in? When you were watching Big Brother Ninja, I mean, when you were watching um, Netflix, I mean, whatever it is, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Because I don't watch it. Maybe you are there all day. My sister is there. She knows I don't watch TV. I'm sleeping. If I open TV like this, notice it's like my therapeutic, whatever, for me to sleep. Can't watch it. The news you need is in the Bible. The world is crying. Ah, what's going on? Hey, these people are dying. Afghanistan. Ah, the Bible is coming to fruition. The scriptures are fulfilling itself. And you are crying. But if you know what's going on, you'll be like, ah, let me put my house in order. Because God is about to come. But you are like, hey, what's going on? Let's run to America today. Ah, are you a Christian? Do you read your Bible? Scriptures is fulfilling itself. And yet you are yelling. You are crying. Why are you crying? The Bible said it. My news is Matthew 24. I open it daily. Ah, you are in the house the other day. Okay, let's see. What's it? What's it? What's it? Shelley? We're marking it. That is the greatest news. Matthew 24 is your breaking news. It's your CNN. Revelation 5, no, 6, 7. It's your CNN. Everything. You guys, you are running to the world. The world is looking for you. And you are looking for them. They are like, why are you following us? You are the light carrier now. Show us the way. We need to come out of this. And you are like, I don't know. You don't know? Are you kidding? So you go to church Monday to Friday for what? You go every Sunday for what? To mark register. Ah. If you don't know, decep deception is in the churches. Decep deception. Some of the churches, not all. If you don't know that spirit of deception, and deception is not coming for the hidden. You know. It's not coming for the people of the world. It's coming for the elect. You. Deception is coming for you. He said, okay, how are we going to get more people out? While we were busy playing church, while we were busy rivalry against one another, we were fighting each other. 
My church has 60 members. My church has 20 members. The world, the gay community, they've come up with their Bible. Oh. And your God is a she in the Bible. She. Do you know? She. And they remove anything that has to do with husband, male, female. They remove all that. They remove submission. Uh, can't find it. While you are busy collecting all manner of things that they've put upon you, they're saying COVID, you go, COVID, oh, Corona, COVID, oh, Corona. Ah. They say it's Delta. My son, we were talking about yesterday, they said maybe next time you'll be KLM. <laughs> maybe they will see Air France the next time. Because we don't know where they are going. But we are standing on the solid work, word that cannot fail. Don't you know that God has written the end of the script of this earth? So nothing is coming that is not in the book. God, God, God has written the end, the end of the age is written. It can't be erased. So no matter what they do, even if they like, they should be on the plane and be running. God is like, okay, where are we? Okay. Jesus, get ready. I'm about to go. Everything is coming to fruition. At this time, if you know how to farm, go and farm more. If you know how to keep money, keep your money well. But sometimes we are going to a place where the banks will no longer, no longer hold your money for you. They'll tell you the, something happened, something system, corrupt, killing. Eh? No play my money. We'll fight. Do whatever you want to do now, I'm telling you. Because we are we are going to the end of that age. Where will we behold the king? Ah, some people have already seen. They saw, David saw, he saw it before it happened. If you look at David's writing, you'll be like, ah, "What did you see?" Then you look at Paul's writing. You compare. You say, ah. Paul is re referencing to David's text. How come David knew this before Messiah came? Some people behold him even before he came onto earth. That seen him. That seen him. So this earth is going helter skelter. As a believer, what do you do? You stand as the gate man. Hey, 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 stop running. This is the way. Stay here. Because you know. But the world is running, you two are like. Where are we going? Ah! Ah! Are you a believer? You have to know, you have to know these things. You have to know these things. Until the veil is removed. Until the veil is removed. That first Corinthians 3, it was from the beginning, it was said, talking about Moses. How when they had the, the um, when, when he beheld the glory, how he had to veil himself when he came down to face Israel. But when Jesus Christ came, he unveiled it so that we can behold. But we are still like the days of Moses, hiding behind the veil. Why are you hiding? When you can behold this glory, he says, um, the veil removed. can see and reflect the glory and the Lord who is the spirit makes us more and more like him as we are changed 
into his glorious image. When you look at yourself daily, are you changed? If you see yourself withdrawing from the earth, from the world, everything world, you are now like, mm, you, are, you are becoming, I'm telling you. There's an altar, there's a change. That's why the things of the world no longer attract you. These days, I'm like looking at clothes, I'm like, I'm not buying clothes anymore. I'm trying to, if I see, I buy it, but I'm not running after it like I used to. <laughs> you know, before you'd be like, ah, oh, what's going on? Okay, this one, let me buy, let me buy. Let me. This day, I'm like, uh-uh. This cannot be all that there is. So I'm looking into, how can we, okay, God, what are you saying? Okay, so to feed um, these people, okay. So I'm calling some of my Believers Culture team members. I said, go to this village, go and look for this. Go and, instead of me buying that cloth, I'll use it to, to go and save souls. So perspective has changed. Because as I behold, I become. So your perspective of, let me tell you, kingdom, kingdom season, they, they don't hustle. You know, hustling is not for us. You tarry, you hear, you move. If he says, go and be a carpenter, because God has said you should go and be a carpenter, guess what? The whole city will be looking for you. But you are like looking at the internet, okay? From the look of things, the world is prospering in, okay, food, food, lunch, anything. Ah, food. Yeah, yeah, lunch, yeah, serious, serious. And you open it, and you, nobody comes. And like, ah, let's go and pass seven days. Nothing changes. In six months, you close it down. Who told you to open food? You're looking at the word to. We are the light. We cannot follow the word. Some people say we are following. If you look at your um, uh, Instagram follower, you are following Beyonce. Why are you following Beyonce? You are following um, Kim Kardashian. Yesterday, I went on my Instagram and said, let me even see how many believers have. I saw believers. I, I wept like a baby. I said, ah! We have lost our morals. Kim Kardashian. You are following, following for, for what? To, to do what? To teach you how to be naked. I mean, to teach you how to shake your bum. No, we must know why we follow people. Why? 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 You are a light carrier. What are you doing with darkness? What attracting you to darkness? I went. I went to look at Bob Rusky. Hey! I saw so many Christians. I said, hey! God, what's going on? I said, if I'm feeling this way, how are you feeling, God? We're having a conversation. I was shaking. I was crying. Christians, believers, katu, 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 people, people following a man that needs salvation, that calls himself woman, and you're following him. For what? What will he teach you? Eh? How to become a man? Or how to become a woman? I don't, I don't, I don't understand it. We follow people. Let me tell you, I have unfollowed a lot of pastors. I, I have unfollowed them. Because if your life does not give God the glory, I can't do it. American pastors have unfollowed majority, 99999.9. I've unfollowed them. Because when you live your life, that has nothing to do with this gospel. I know my friend. Jesus Christ said, those that do the will of the Father, they are my brothers, they are my sisters, they are my mother, they are my father. If you are not doing the will, if you are not on this journey together, I can't follow you. You follow people because they want to learn how to, how to sing. Hey! Who created you? Who puts sound 
into you. Go! So why would you go to the world to teach you how to breath out the sound that you put into you? You don't know how to sing. Hey! I don't, I don't want to know how to sing the way you are singing. Because it doesn't change me. Because they can sing your song in club and nothing is happening. You can jump, 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 and jump yourself to hell, 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 hell. Songs! It's good though. If you know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I'm not learning it. Because that's not my style. I've played so many, I've been to so many, so many music classes. The people say, you have failed. I say, hey, I can't pass. Because when I get on this stage, that thing you taught me, it won't come out. <laughs> so I wasted my money several times. Say, ah, it's not for me. Leave me. Leave me. I just want to breath sound that people will hear. Be like, I need Jesus. Help me. Because why am I singing? To make you feel happy and dance and juju juju and you go home and sleep and the devil comes at night and molest you. When I play Theophilus Sunday, I play him all night. I pray him in the morning. The atmosphere in my room is changed. Charged with the Holy Ghost. Charged. I can't play anybody else right now. Maybe Peter Renze, yes. Pastor Nat. I can play Pastor Nat. And some few people, just few people. But not everybody I can play with. You just see another spirit come in with that song. They, ah, this person is not purified. Remove that CD. If your, if your sensitivity is not that high, you would think we are all going to the same heaven. Put your phone on mute, please. You would think. We are going to the same heaven. And when we get there, Jesus will say, you preach? I didn't know you. You see why you must know him? I prophesied, I didn't know you. You see why you must know him? Because it's not about what you do, it's about him knowing you. I know you. What? 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 The only thing Jesus Christ said was, I know you not. He must know me. And when he puts his burden upon you, you can't shake it off. You are wailing, you are crying. You are... Most times I'm wailing. I will just sit down in my room, I will cry. My daughter will come, why are you crying? I say, pray for the Lord. They need Jesus. When, they, when I see the Muslim community thinking they are going to help, I'm like, how, the, how do we stop these people? I've been, I've been talking to God though. Is that not the prayer we've been praying every 12 midnight? We are praying for Muslims that they encounter Jesus. We don't serve the same God though. He who does not have the Son does not have the Father. Check it out. Do you have the Son? Yes, you have the Father. If you don't have the Son, Jesus, you don't have the can we be going to the same heaven when you don't have the sun? When Jesus can say, I am the way. Which way are you on? So when you have Muslim family, please pray for them. You can't watch them go to hell. You must intercede until they know him. They know the God of Allah. There's a God of Allah. He's not the king of kings. He's not the God of the Bible. He's not. So when they say, now nah, go to Allah, 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 no be Allah. Allah is a God and he's not the king of kings. Use another word. So we must begin to teach them. I'm telling you. If you don't teach them, they will think that they are going off, but they are not. Until we are changed into his glorious image. Oh. That's my goal. Until I become his glorious image. Until I see him. And be consumed totally in him. Ah, until 
I become? Shall we rise until I become you? Until we become him. Until we become him, we cannot stop. Until we become him. Until we change to that glorious image. Until we change to that glorious image. Begin to pray, Father. According to your Bible, your word in 2 Corinthians 13, 8, 3, 18. Until I am changed into your glorious image. Don't stop working on me. Don't stop working on me. Until I behold him. Until you behold him. Until we behold him. What's the purpose of going to church Sunday by Sunday and then you find yourself in hell? But he said, but I gave my life to Christianity. And God said, I didn't know you. I didn't know you. Until we behold him. Until we behold him. Until we become him. Until creation recognizes us. Until the son, you call son. Son, hold it. And says, hey, you are a son. Hey, I alt it right now. Until you behold him. Until we become him. Until we become him. To your glorious image. The image of the invisible God. A pick of us. A pick a pay. A pick a tukutuba. A big vish.
You know what the Holy Spirit just brought to me? He brought an analogy to me right now. He says, if I have, we don't have a cup of water here, but if I have a cup of water and I begin to fill a glass, if no, if I have a bottle of water and I begin to fill a glass with a bottle of water, what are you filling the glass with? The bottle, of, right? How come? When the water fills up to the brim and the cup brings overflow, what's the overflowing from? From the bottle of water. How come we say we have the Holy Ghost and what overflows is not from the same cup? It's not from the same bottle. So where is that content coming from? Where is the content coming from? If your overflow is not from your bottle, ah, it means another spirit has come in. And that's where it's overflowing from. So you're going to pray that prayer. Fill me up until my consciousness is gone. Until my mind is God. Until my thought becomes God. Until my desire becomes God. Papa, pray from your heart. Fill me up. Until I overflow. Fill me up. With your content. With your spirit. With your power. With your love. With your patience. With your love.
the street the other day, I was telling my sister yesterday, I said, look at our streets, club, club everywhere. I said, I think there was one general that prayed that that um, clubs should be turned to churches. I, I can't remember where I read it from. It's been so long. I'm like, ah, we, we, we don't carry power in this neighborhood. See, them? they're just erecting club, club, club. And we need power. So that we can begin to turn those things into a holy building. Is it not Rea Bonky that went into a clubhouse and preached the gospel? And everybody, the clubhouse became a sanctuary. The people that came with Tata clothes, they said, Willie, I want God. It can happen. They're going to pray that God endure me with power so that I can begin to be a God on earth and begin to do all the things that you have put into us. Let's pray from our heart. Father, endure me with power. Endure me with power. Endure me with power from my heart. So that when I go out, I represent you fully. You said in Luke 9, you called the disciples. You gave them power and authority over all devils, over all demons, and to raise the dead. That's the power. Father, endure me with it. In that name. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh, help me, in Jesus, name we pray, amen. I have two people in the midst that I missed, and I want them to say one or two things. She's a prophetess, she came from the United States, Prophet Miriam. She's my sister. We live in Texas together. We minister together. She's from Texas. And my pastor, the Bishop G. Woo! Woo! <laughs> this is the way in the house. Yes. Have you been blessed so far? Yes. Ah. Master. 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 Master.